When you're working with the Video Timer Pro, we do recommend that you set up the automatic autosave feature in the package. Uh, to do so, it's very simple. You can see I've already got I'm working on one study here. I come over to my file, I go to my options here, and then I can set up the different parameters. I can tell it to autosave every so often. So in this case, it's one, two, three, five, or ten minutes. I can tell it how many backup files I want to save. In this case, I've got five to find. And here I can view my currently auto-saved uh, studies right here. Now, I um, may want to bring back one. And if you do so, it'd be very simple. Let's say you make a mistake in your project. You come over here, you can do a file. You can say options. Look at the view of the available options. And you'll see it's all done by date and time here. So you probably want to bring back the most recent one. You click on it here. And it'll tell you here, please select new from the file menu before viewing the autosave. Why? Well, we don't want you writing over anything. You might want to save what you've already got. So we're just giving you one last chance here. So what I'm going to do is do a new file since I know I've made a mistake. And I want to come in here. I go to my options. I go to my autosave. And since it realizes there's nothing available here, when I click on it, it's going to bring it back and put the information in there for me.